Stables, Royal Flush Stables, Ian Nacone and Gia Marino, Richie Silverman, the driver. Number two, 11 a.m., called by the Barry Stables, driven by Rodney LaFromboise. Number three is Dawn of a New Day, Norman and Gerald Smiley and Ted Gewirtz co-own Dave Pallone. Number four, George Ed Biggs, called by John Fielding, Jim Worrell Jr. Number five is Fail Say Paul, called by Sharp, Sampson Street, Arnold and Silva with Jim Pantoliano. Number six, John Adams, Eric Ledford, the driver for the Neptune Stables and MJG Racing. Number seven, the Red and Pan Lines, owned by the Peter Pan Stables with Yannick Gingra. And number eight is all over the place. He's owned by the Bob McIntosh Stables, CSX Stables, and Paul Isabart, Danielle Dubay, is in the sulky. No changes, eight minutes until post for race two. It's post time for the first of two divisions tonight in the third leg of New Jersey Sire Stakes action. A field of eight three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings lined up. On a break is George at Biggs as they head toward the start. And they're off the red and pan lines from the outside. Heads out for the lead. Chased out as Royal Flush Shark from the rail all over the place. On the far outside, 11 a.m. is fourth. Dawn of a new day. Backs off kindly. He'll settle fifth on the inside. Wrestled back sixth is Fail Safe Hall, who's under a firm hold. John Adams is seventh. And the gate breaker, Georgia Biggs, is far behind, trailing the field as they head toward the opening quarter and all over the place. From the outside post is cleared up. Sitting the loose pocket there is the red and pan lines in second. And Royal Flush Shark on the inside third. The first quarter in a comfortable 28 seconds flat. Fourth is 11 a.m. as they hit the back stretch. He's flushed to the outside, so dawn of a new day will have some cover to track. He's second over on the outside, gapping that cover slightly from fifth as they're strung out down the back stretch. Racing in sixth, third over is Fail Safe Hall. Being chased a bit from the rail is John Adams in seventh, and still far back is Georgia Biggs as they move toward the half mile marker. All over the place, not seeing any pressure so far. 11 a.m. still trying to work up to his wheel. First over there on the outside, identical 28 second quarter. The half was in 56 flat. The red and pan lines racing in third. Dawn of a new day. Second over. Still sitting loose cover with little more than three eighths to go. Toward the inside, Royal Flush Shark is trying to keep pace from fifth. Then it's about three and a half lengths further back to fail safe Hall. A sluggish John Adams is seventh to his inside. So all over the place has the tactical advantage here. He's a length and a half in front. The red and pan lines is second. Three quarters in 123 and two. Dawn of a new day is struggling. He's at least seven lengths from the lead right now. As all over the place digs in with an eighth of a mile to go. The red and pan lines try to trip out from in behind him. Is coming on to challenge on the outside. The red and pan lines surging up after all over the place. The red and pan lines a short lead all over the place trying to fight back to him. But it's the red and pan lines to win it all over the place. Second, John Adams rallied for third, 150 and three fifths. On by Bob Glazer's Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio. The trainer is Mark Silva, and Yannick Gingra is in the sulky. Career best for the Red and Pan Lions, 150 and 3. And we welcome Keith Kazmark to the Meadowlands. It's Keith's running mate event. Keith makes the trophy presentation to the winning connections of the Red and Pan Lions. Number seven, the Red and Pan Lions, pays 1960, nine even and 540. Second, number eight, all over the place, 820 and 680. And third was number six, John Adams.